Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and today I'm gonna take a look at the latest batch of custom Masters of the Universe Classics heads by the very talented Kevin Kasi. That's right, you've probably seen several videos already from me, or I've taken a look at some of the amazing custom heads that Kevin has created. And we've got a whole new batch of cool heads to add on to our Masters of the Universe Classics figures to make some brand new characters. So let's go ahead and check these out. So first and foremost, let me go ahead and get this part out of the way. How do we put these heads on the figures? Since all of the Masters Classics figures feature the removable heads on the ball joints, it's actually very simple. And Kevin designs all of these heads so that they fit right on top of the ball joints. Now they don't snap on like the production plastic that Mattel uses, but it does fit nicely and he also includes some cool little sticky tack that you can put on the inside of the head so that way it rests nicely on the ball joint and can still be posed around just like any of the heads from the Mattel figures. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this latest offering, starting with this incredibly cool snake assassin head here. As you can see, it's a great design and sculpt. All of Kevin's sculpting is really well done. Everything looks like production quality and features really great paint jobs to boot. This particular snake assassin is in a nice purple hood there that is very familiar to what Skeletor would wear. And look at the colors on the snake face. That light blue, yellow, and green? It's like this is Skeletor as a snake man. Very cool looking head and fits perfectly on your Skeletor body. Last time around I showed off some alternate heads for the Horde Troopers and we've got some new ones. To bolster the ranks of the Horde Troopers even more, we now have a Batmech pilot and this incredibly cool battle damaged Horde Trooper head that has a great crack right there in the dome showing all of the cool robotic parts underneath. This guy here is Gwarak, ruler of Rakash, inspired by one of the German audio dramas. It's an incredibly cool sculpt, and it fits perfectly if you've got that blue merman body. The blue color matches up nicely, it's a great sculpt, and adds another really great kind of ocean warlord character to the lineup. And then we come to an incredibly cool looking sculpt of the Black Wizard. I love this one. Fantastic helmet with the horns that meet up to a little orb in the center there. He's got those glowing red and yellow eyes. Beautiful skull face sculpt. And I just absolutely love the paint job on this guy. Great kind of metallic silver and gold on the helmet there. Awesome bone white on the skull. And to make things even cooler, there's even an awesome repaint of this particular sculpt done to fit on the Castle Grayskull Man body. So it's sort of like another version of Grayskull Man you can add to your collection or could even be sort of like a soldier or a bodyguard for the Black Wizard. Oh, and this guy is really cool. Have you ever heard of Fuerza T? Well, it's essentially a knockoff line from Masters of the Universe. It actually came out in the early 2000s and just reused a bunch of parts from the Vintage Masters line to create a whole bunch of new characters. But they were very cool looking figures. And this right here is a character straight out of that line named Platino. Basically, you could take this awesome new head sculpt here and pop it on a Fisto body, give him some Jitsu armor, throw a He-Man axe in his hand, and hey, if you're good with a paintbrush, you can even repaint it so that you can create your very own classics version of the Platino character. I'd love to see some more Foyers of T characters, Kevin. I love these guys. And lastly for today, we've got another head that's perfect for the Horde Trooper body, General Sundar. Now this is a character that, quite frankly, I'm surprised we haven't seen in Classics yet, and we'll be surprised if we don't get an official release. But if we don't, Kevin's got us covered. This is a character straight out of the Princess of Power cartoon series, and one that a lot of Filmation fans have always wanted to see in action figure form. You can just pop this head right there on a Horde Trooper body, and you're ready to go. 
It's a fantastic sculpt, the colors are great on there, it matches up perfect with that figure. And now I finally have a General Sundar to add to my toy shelf. So there you go guys, there's a look at the latest batch of custom heads from the incredibly talented Kevin Kasi. I think it's awesome that he really goes out of his way to make these incredibly cool sculpts, beautiful paint jobs to help expand our Masters of the Universe Classics collection. And if you're talented with a paintbrush yourself, well, you can use these heads to help make your own cool custom figures to add even more variety to your toy shelf. So if you are interested in Kevin's work, you can check him out on Facebook. Just head on over to facebook.com slash kevin.kasi and you can see all of the cool things that he's designing on there and maybe even touch base with him about some of these custom heads for yourself. Until next time, 